today how to set up your cassava bread business. So the first thing you want to do is to harvest and prepare the cassava. So the roots are harvested at maturity, typically it's six to 12 months after planting. The outer skin is removed by peeling. You could peel by your hand or you could use, you could peel with your hand or you could use a machine leaving behind the starchy flesh, the roots are thoroughly washed to remove every dirt and debris. After that, we go into the grating and grinding process. Cassava is grated using a grater made from wood or metal. You could also use mechanical graters or mills in a large scale production setting. After that, fermentation. This is an optional step because this just helps to break down the cyanogenic glycosides in cassava, which can be toxic if left Present. But this is also dependent on the variety of cassava. So depending on the variety of cassava, um, this fermentation process might not be necessary. After the fermentation process, we're going to dehydration process. Fermented or unfermented cassava mash is spread on mats or trays and sun dried for several days. This process removes excess moisture, concentrating the flavor and extending shelf life. Alternatively, Mechanical dehydrators may be used for faster and more controlled drying. After that, we move on to the roasting and the baking process. So the dried cassava is roasted in clay ovens or on hot stones. In modern production, an oven is used or a baking equipment for more consistent results. This helps to dry the cassava and develop a unique flavor and texture. After that, it is rounded, which is also optional, and then sifted. Sorry, the sifting is optional, but it's grinded into a fine flour for a smoother texture. Sifting is done to remove any coarse particles and to create a more even. After the grinding and sifting step, we go into the making of the dough for the cassava bread. So now your flour is ready and then we want to start mixing. So we mix with water and additional ingredients like salt and then fat to form a, a dough. The dough is shaped into desired forms such as flatbreads, rolls, or small loaves. And then the baking process or the cooking process. So the shaped cassava bread is cooked on hot stones in ovens on griddles until golden brown and then cooked through. Thank you for coming to the end.